Look at the view that I have in my little apartment. Sorry for the moving. Nice. So nice. Beginning of time. We are with Lindsay Nicole Chambers, and you were in Submissions Only, which is a YouTube series. Yes. And you have been on a couple shows on Broadway. Yes. And right now you're playing Lauren in Kinky Boots. On the road. On the road. First question. Lauren mm -hmm. never gets to wear any kinky boots in the show. If she could wear a pair of kinky boots, what would they look like? Well, she actually does wear kinky boots in the show. Okay. She just wears kinky booties. Yeah. So they just don't go thigh high. <laughs> I mean, the ones you want are Lola's, right? Because yeah. they're like, you know, the red. And um, I don't know how Billy's are in New York, but in on the road, Kyle's have like they're like bedazzled everywhere now. <laughs> so they're super fantastic. So those are the ones that I would want. But I, my little kinky booties even have um, some little bedazzles on the heels too. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with mine. Right <laughs> okay, what is your most memorable stage door experience touring or on Broadway? Um, I don't know if I have just one. What's actually really struck me touring around um, with Kinky Boots is how many people all over the country have been like, oh my God, I love submissions only. I watch submissions only all the time. And how many people like know me from that and are like, oh my God, it's so nice to see you move your face in a play <laughs> instead of just being like totally, totally frozen and rude all the time. So that's that's been really fun and really, um, I mean, surprising, I guess. I mean, I knew, I knew it was popular, but it's mm -hmm. funny to go to Ohio and in Cleveland, people are like, oh my God, submissions only. And in LA, people are like, oh my God, submissions only. So that's that's been really cool. Do you have a dream role that you would like to ever play on Broadway or touring? Yes. My dream role is Roxy in Chicago. Yes. <laughs> I love that show. I love how old school it is. I love the dancing. And I also love when you get to, like, a direct, like, you know, talk to people, like, right in the audience. I love that. Just direct addressing those <laughs> fools in the front row, you know what I mean? So I, that, that, to me, would be one of my, one of my favorites. And I will never, one that I will never ever I'm not young anymore, and I'm not a soprano, is Louisa and the Fantastics. Do you know that show? Yeah. Oh, it's so um, good. Go out and get the original cast recording. What was it like to perform in Kinky like Boots the day gay it, marriage was legalized? It was really amazing. We, um, you know, obviously the, the cast, we were all over the moon, you know? And, um, gosh, I already can't remember where we were. I think we were in Hartford, Connecticut. So a lot of the guys had been to, like, a parade in the afternoon before the show. And then Joe Coots, who plays Don in our show, gave a really, really great curtain speech. And we were all kind of like, oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be sort of light but, like, perfect because Joe's funny, you know? And he really, by the end of it, he all ha he had us all like, <laughs> like tears rolling down everybody's faces. It was really cool. I think it's really cool, you know, to see such a like a big straight old dude, you know, speak so lovely about um, about love. Is there a show that you want to see uh, right now that's on Broadway in this Broadway season? Oh my god, I want to see so many because I haven't been home. Like I want to see Fun Home, and I want to see Hamilton, and I want to see. Um, Oh my God, so many others that I can't even think of right now. Like everything that was at the Tonys, I didn't even get to watch the Tonys because <laughs> we had a show, which I really think that equity should make it a rule. Equity is the actors union. Mm -hmm. I think they should make it a rule. Maybe I'll like start a campaign or something that we, that, that actors should get Sunday night of the Tony Awards. We should be able to watch the Tony Awards. Because we want to watch the show. <laughs> it's like our only national holiday as, as actors, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, oh God, every, like everything that I really wanted to see this wild party that was just at Encores that I think is maybe done now or what it's Sunday or Saturday. So maybe they have two more shows yeah, or something tomorrow. Yeah, I think it tomorrow. ends pretty soon. Um, but yeah, I mean, just everything, kind of everything that's happening right now, I want to go see. And it's funny because when you're, when you're working, 
you only have one night off, you know, mm-hmm. really. So you're like, oh, I don't want to really go to the theater on my one night off. And then when you're not working, you're poor, so you can't afford it. So <laughs> it's like a catch-22. What do you do? You got to go when you're working. Is there anyone on Broadway now that you would like to work with in the future or you want to meet or something like that? I mean, and everybody? Is that, <laughs> is that an appropriate answer? It works. I mean, there are so many people... And so many directors, it's just, it's, it's almost like and you, you could like put everybody's name in a hat and any name you draw out, you would be like, yes, I would murder people to work with them. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I would murder people. <laughs> what is the next role you would like to play after Kinky Boots? Um, you know what I would really like to be in that's happening still is Avenue Q. I've never been in Avenue Q. I want to be like a puppet. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, I'm not, uh, my parents will not let me watch that. So. Oh, yeah, it's like, it's really, it's lewd. Yeah, so, but I've heard, I've heard about <laughs> it, but I'm not allowed to watch it until I'm older, so. Right, that makes sense. But. I've so sorry, teens. <laughs> yeah, but I've heard it's very good. How does the audition for getting a touring role work? The same as any other audition you go in for, you know, like anything, you know, whether it's your, you know, community theater show or your high school musical or whatever, or high school musical, even, (laughs) um, you know, you know, you know what part you're going in for most of the time or what part you want to go in for, you know, and you tailor your audition for that. And if you're lucky enough, they just give you the sides. Like when I came, when I went in for um, Lauren and Kinky Boots, they give you the sides and they give you her song and you prepare all the stuff that's in the show, which is great. Um, and then you, you have like callbacks, whether you have one callback or no callbacks or when I auditioned for Hairspray to be, and I, I ended up being a swing in the first national tour of Hairspray a long time ago, um, I had eight callbacks. So sometimes it gets like crazy like that. And there are just so many people, they keep bringing you back in and bringing you and bringing you and bringing you and bringing you back. So it's essentially the same. You know, you go and you sing your song and then you read your your sides or do your monologue or whatever. Hopefully it's not a monologue because I don't have any monologues. <laughs> um, unless they give it to you, then that's fine. Yeah. But yeah, it's 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 the same as as, as you guys do in school. Has there ever been anyone who's come to the show that you've, like, known about that has been, like, famous or someone that's, like, been really big? Kelly Clarkson and Reba McIntyre came, and I can't remember. I mean, maybe were we in Nashville? That makes sense. I can't remember (laughs) where we were, though. Um, So that one was like, (gasps) what? (laughs) Reba McIntyre? What? Kelly Clarkson? Um, so they were like super iconic Mm -hmm. and to get to see them and even be like, hi, of course I didn't say anything to them. I was like, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) Couldn't even say anything. Like, what do you say to them? I really like your music. Thank you so much. Actually, that's probably a really nice thing to say, (laughs) but I could not. So, uh, so that was really cool. I'm trying to think if there have been any, what the cool thing about, I mean, not famous people, but the cool thing about being on the road is your family can all come. You know, yeah. if you get if you get close enough to home, so that's really cool. Uh, they're famous to me, but not really to anybody else in the world. So that's. <laughs> so their question is: Do you have any advice for aspiring actors? And they also added that they got to see you perform the day that uh, gay marriage was legalized, and oh. they were very excited to see you especially. And they said that you were incredible and talented and gorgeous. And they got to yeah. meet you at the um, stage door. And that was like oh, cool. their highlight of their night. So oh, they wanted that's to add awesome. that. <laughs> um, my advice, I think, would be to um, just work really hard, like nose to the grindstone, and um, take any class you can. Like, even if you think it's like, even if you're not a dancer, take dance classes, you know, take an acting class, go to a voice lesson, take a, an on-camera thing. Who cares if you really think you're going to be on TV or not? Like, go just do everything you can think of to, like, just to work, you know, work on everything you can work on. And also know that it's going to be, you know, rough. You got to hustle, mm-hmm. you know, it's New York City. <laughs> There's a lot of people trying to get these jobs, you know? Just got to work really hard and believe in yourself. Has there been a hilarious moment backstage 
Um, I, this is on stage. This is not that hilarious, but it was when it happened <laughs> during, the big, during the big fight scene between Lola and Charlie in the second act. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we're all kind of like hanging out upstage, like pretending not to watch them, but watching them. And you're like, oh God, what's happening down there? Um, I, I'm standing by a row of, um, uh, like a rack of boots and the boots on there have, had just been like used on stage, you know, mm -hmm. they're like a black pair of boots with pink, whatever. Um, and they, they end up on this, on this cart and I was, um, playing with, there's like a little brooch on it on the like top where you're like close to where your knee is. Mm -hmm. And I was playing with the brooch and it came, it, like it popped off in my hand and I was like oh, <laughs> <laughs> laughing on stage in the, I had to turn my, like my back to the audience because I would just lost it because I like, yanked this thing off that I didn't even know like it was just glued on or something I thought it was totally connected I don't know but that was one of those like you know when you know the term church giggles mm -hmm. when you like you're supposed to be serious but you can't and yeah. it makes it even worse because you're supposed to be serious so we uh, we had a good a good giggle over that but there's so much shenanigans that goes on stage um or goes on off stage um one of the one of the angels recently <laughs> this happened like yesterday or two days ago um when charlie's firing all of us mm -hmm. we're up like up on the platform up on the like um you know the office platform yeah. and um so we're way high above everybody like a story above everybody else um there was one angel off in the wing stage right because he brings on the shoe cart and um <laughs> He happened to be just, I think, just the way the stage was lit from both sides. He happened to be, like, in perfect, like, I could see him, like, off stage. He was in the perfect, like, little wedge of light. Mm -hmm. And he was saying the scene along with me to make somebody else, like, who was off stage on the other side of the stage to make them laugh. And I was, like, watching him. <laughs> Say my lines with me. And I was like, oh, my God, focus, 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 because I'm going to forget all. I'm going to forget all <laughs> the lines. I just watch it because I, I just wanted to be like, that's so funny. But then you can't do that because you're actually <laughs> on stage and people paid to see you, you know, say those lines. Mm -hmm. So you got to keep doing the play. Do you have a favorite outfit and shoe on the show? Um, my favorite shoes, other than the kinky booties at the end, because those are pretty fantastic. Um, my favorite shoes were my second act shoes. Cause I only, I wear like a sneaker wedge for the first act. And then I wear, I wore these, like, it was like a platform chunky heel, like brown tweed, little like round toe. They were so cute and they hurt my feet so bad <laughs> that I had to like go to the doctor and get orthotics and now I can't wear them anymore because oh. my foot is like busted because of they're really, really cute shoes that I, even when they started hurting my foot, I was like, no, it's fine. I can deal with it. They're so cute. I can, <laughs> oh, just a busted foot, busted left foot now because of my really cute, really uncomfortable second act shoes. Beauty hurts. <laughs> okay. Do you have a pet peeve that happened that like audience pet peeve? Oh, Yes. You, you can't, it's so silly. And this is like in like, everybody's like tweeting about this and stuff right now and Facebooking about this. You can't take pictures and have your <laughs> phone out and text during the show. It's so, it seems like it would not matter, but it's so dark in the audience and so light on stage that when there's a light out in the audience, mm -hmm. it's so distracting. You have no idea. Um, another thing is I, why would you ever think about this. I've never ever in my entire life seen this happen before, but this week or last week in Chicago, there was a woman who was wearing a jacket that is probably like a running jacket or something like that. So the inside of it was reflective. Oh. <laughs> so like out of the corner of your, every time, like it was just like shining back at us <laughs> for the entire show. She was in the front row right behind like two seats to the left of the conductor. So we were, like every time you caught it in your peripheral vision, you were like, what's oh, it's the lady with a jacket? And, you know, maybe just don't eat potato chips and stuff like that. On submissions only, you have a lot of stars that come and uh, do their thing. Um, yeah. Who was the one person that you were like super excited to be on the show? Oh, man, there were so many. Joel Gray was a really big one. Mm -hmm. That was like a, oh, my God, you're a freaking legend, Joel <laughs> Gray. Oh, my God. 
That was really cool. Joanna Gleason was really cool because I loved that Into the Woods. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that with Bernadette yeah. Peters yeah. at PBS? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I used to watch that all the time in high school. So that was really, really cool. And, you know, some of them, Cheetah Rivera would have been one that would have, like, floored me. But I wasn't in for that scene because it was <laughs> with Kate, you know. Yeah. It wasn't it – didn't have anything to do with the, the office. But, God, we got lucky. So many – fancy people want yeah. to do that web series if you like theater and if you want to do theater and if you know new york okay well thank you for talking with us and for more about Lindsay, i will have stuff below in the comment section thing with her instagram and twitter and facebook and your website yay and don't forget to check out kinky boots on tour and um i guess we'll talk to you later if that's a possibility yeah, thank you so much. Thanks and, for having Yeah, thank you. And I will... Uh, There's so many echoes and so many lighting problems. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. Yeah, thank you too. See you next time. All right, bye. Hey, everyone. Okay, so that was my interview with Lindsay. I'm very, very excited that we got to do this. Please go watch Submissions Only. It's hilarious. And uh, her role is a total opposite of what she plays in Kinky Boots. It's a very, like, monotone, like, she hates everything kind of person. And it's very... Um, so you should totally go watch it. Um, if you're, you know, a big Broadway fan, which I hope you are since you're watching the Broadway vlog. There's so many Broadway stars on this. And you might not know all of them, but you'll know some of them. Like, Jen Colella showed up, as she talked about, Joel Grey showed up on there, you know, Cheetah Rivera, so all these people are on there. Um, and so just go check it out, it's hilarious. Come back later for a vlog with Stephanie and um, an interview with Jennifer Ashley Tepper. Uh, we have some other interviews coming up, like uh, LaShawn. We have some interviews coming up, we just don't know dates for them. So when that, so when we get dates, we will definitely tell you. Joe Aaron Reed, um, LaShawn, Sydney Lucas, um, you know, all these amazing people. So, stay tuned, tweet us, go follow Lindsay on everything. I'll see you guys later. Where you Bye. off to? I've been executized.